What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We're back inside the Tesla uh, Model Y. Uh, I think this week Tesla actually released their holiday uh, update 44.25.5 for the 2025 year. Um, so we're going to cover what's exactly in that one while testing out uh, Mad Max. One thing about Mad Max feature uh, on the self-driving is I think sometimes it's like it drives pretty crazy so is it something that you can use in your city i'm going to test it out on 95 uh, here on the east coast and we're going to see how it does one of the biggest features that was added for this new update that just released was the addition of having gronk be able to actually start a navigation now it can't start self-driving but you can uh, talk to it to actually have it input a destination so we're going to try that out and we're going to combine that with Mad Max and we're going to see how it goes. So let's just jump right into it. Gronk, can you take me to the nearest Home Depot off 95 South? Sure. The nearest Home Depot is at 305 Worth Avenue in Stafford, Virginia, about seven miles away. Shall I set navigation there? Yes, please. Navigation set to the Home Depot at 305 Worth Avenue in Stafford, Virginia. It's 9.7 miles away, about 15 minutes. Thank you. You're welcome. Safe travels. Okay, so now that we've got Gronk that has set our destination, obviously you still can't start driving um, just like that automatically yet. I'm sure that's something that's going to come later down the line. But once we hit the self driving we're immediately off my car is automatically in mad max so let's just go from here <laughs> so my car is automatically in mad max mode um, because that's the profile i typically drive in uh the speed is i think i have it at like plus 10 percent or 10 of the stated um is like a blind corner here so i always get nervous to to make sure it can see what i see but it always does fairly well as you can see it uh kind of stopped i felt like it was a little far back but then it creeped up and i could see the car coming and i guess it could too because it it then uh stopped again to let that car pass and then we're off but as i was saying my um mad max is set to about 10 miles an hour over the posted speed limit which is about normal for the 95 East Corridor where I drive, that usually isn't gonna get you pulled over or anything like that. Um, the one thing I do like about Mad Max is the aggressive uh, takeoffs that it has from uh, any light. Um, I do like that. Um, this is definitely the profile that you're gonna use when you're trying to get through traffic. Like it's not gonna sit behind a car that's going 10 under the speed limit. It's going to accelerate change lanes uh, to get past it and keep going to the destination that you've got set. And I like that. That's exactly how I would drive. While we're out this light, uh, some of the features that uh, Tesla added in addition to the, the biggest feature of the update being the integration with Gronk and um, navigation was the ability to paint your car in the um, paint shop. I do like that, I do use it. Um, again, one of those features, I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but for now it's cool. I uh, experimented with some of the wraps and stuff, found some I like, and for now it's better than having the car as a standard blue, just to give it something different. Um, the Photoshop, again, something cool. Uh, I think we had this on like Mac, that's a feature I've, I've seen for a while, so it, it's cool. Uh, again, probably won't use it that much uh, for me, uh, just tried it out just to see how it works. Uses the interior camera to take the pictures. It's nice, uh, but not something I'm gonna use like a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up to turn on to 95 South here. Um, and I really wanna focus on how it actually does once we're 
merging onto the highway. Um, so we'll see how it does. And I really wanna to try to figure out if some of the decisions that I would make behind the wheel actually driving are the same things that the computer is making so that I can feel more comfortable with uh, the speed that is traveling, how aggressive it drives in this mode here and whether maybe this mode would be for everybody. So we're coming onto the highway straight at 70 miles an hour. Um, nothing unusual right now. As you can see, we're kind of behind some traffic. I personally probably would have slowed down and gone over to the left uh, to get into the fast lane, but the system kind of went with uh, traffic to merge on. So let's let's see what it does. And my next move would be to speed up so I can get past this accurate and then change the lanes, which it looks like it's also doing. Right now it's doing a great job just keeping up with the flow of traffic. Um, again, like I said, the flow of traffic out here is a little bit above what the average speed limit would be. Um, but Again, people drive a lot faster, I feel like, on the East Coast. If you're in another area, you feel like y'all drive faster, drop it in the chat, let me know where you guys are from. But out here in like Northern Virginia, like people move. Um, so it's it's good to see that the Tesla's able to keep up with that um, and drive just as aggressively, but also uh, very safe. Like I don't feel like it's doing anything that's uh, unsafe at all. Um, it's moving fairly quickly, we're back in the far right lane, slow lane. We got a car merging in. Okay, yeah, no issues here. I, I honestly think, so one other thing that I did not mention in the uh, new update is uh, for folks that have this in their area, it's the integration with the HOV lanes. Now, uh, Tesla will be able to um, incorporate that into the navigation route automatically if you said that and uh, jump on the HOV to save you time. Uh, definitely a feature I've got on, especially if you know how the traffic is here uh, in the 95 area, so that I can get to where I need to go a lot faster, regardless of how much the tolls cost. Put me on it. So I do, I do like that, and that's another uh, piece that was added in this new update. Uh, me being an aggressive driver, after this car, I clear this, I would shoot all the way over to the right lane with all that open space. Um, but, you know, <laughs> for the computer, it's staying here in the uh, fast lane. You know, maybe it's thinking like me, because <laughs> we're definitely going over. Oh, wow. Look, hey, I, 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 I like this. Mad Max thinks just like I do. Like, <laughs> that's exactly the same thing I would have done if I was driving. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely trying to definitely get you uh, to where you're going. Um, still those moves were not unsafe and waiting until they had room um, and made them so it's, it's driving just as I would like literally <laughs> all right we're about a mile from our final destination which is the Home Depot parking lot so this will also be a good opportunity uh, to test the vehicle's ability to uh, park and parking spaces as that's what I do have it uh, set to do so that'll be pretty much the next obstacle that it has um, but Mad Max right now we're operating in that user profile have some busy street traffic here but now off the highway um, and still doing very very well Now parking, it's dropped me off pretty much in a parking spot. Mm -hmm. I'm in and then the car pretty much turns <laughs> as I'm done, puts me apart and it's over. So again, a uh, great experience with that, like no real issues whatsoever. Uh, I, I feel like Mad Max is, um, it's a great user profile depending on what your needs are and how you like to drive while still allowing the car to do the driving for you. So for me, that's the mode that um, I think I am most comfortable in. Um, I did not feel any bit of being unsafe or anything in it. Um, so yeah, Mad Max it is for me. 
there are some other features like some stuff with Santa and things like that that are pretty cool but I feel like the biggest features or updates uh, for this upgrade that just came out is really Gronk's integration with being able to actually um, select and auto navigate to places but we're definitely still waiting for its ability to be able to start the self-driving and go from there so that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions you know drop them in the comments and i'll be sure to answer them or if there's anything else that you'd like to see or know about this new model y or the new update just again drop them in the comments and i'll be sure to get back to you have a happy holidays i'll see you guys on the next one